Hi everyone and welcome to a love reading. So we're going to see what comes through. Keep an open mind guys um, and you'll know if these messages resonate for you. If they do, let me know in the comments. So I'm going to use my witch's tarot today and we're going to start with a message using my message decks and then we're going to use the tarot to find out what we need to know about love, soul connections and relationships today. So let's let's get this message from your counterpart. We are on hold, but I am coming back for you. I'm sorry for what I said. Can you accept me as I am? So there's a little bit of guilt coming from um saying something quite harsh or perhaps wanted to say at the time I feel about this like this is more about unexpressed words so things that this person hasn't managed to say which they want to say um but you know they are going to kind of work up the courage to to initiate that conversation with you this person has a fear that you're not going to accept what they say or like you're just not going to accept them for who they are so there's some very deep insecurities here um now this person does kind of pray about you, they visualize the future with you, this person feels like you two are both manifesting a future together as well, their other messages are our prayers and visualizations are manifesting and surrender to this situation, so whatever's going on right now between you both, which we'll look into in a moment, they're saying look please just surrender to this because things clearly need to shift in order for us to kind of like settle down, so let's see what is the current situation here, it just feels like things are a little bit unsettled right now. I've got the Six of Swords. So yeah, things are a little bit uncertain. The two of you are moving through um, a transition point in this relationship. So maybe things just feel like you're not too sure what is going on right now. Um, there's some unsettled emotions. So perhaps both of you are feeling a little bit triggered by the connection right now. Um, or it might just be that things are not settled down the way that you want them to. So currently, we do have um, both of you moving through some kind of personal difficulties. This doesn't feel like difficulties within the relationship. This is more like personal issues which both of you are trying to overcome. So perhaps you're going through something and it feels like neither of you are speaking to one another properly about the situation. Um, or if you are talking about it, then maybe there's just not too much you can do to help each other. It might be that you're both having to work through this um, on your own. So we'll see a little bit about what this kind of personal transition is for your person. So what they are currently trying to navigate four of wands so they're currently trying to navigate their own maybe insecurities around relationships generally this is about them working on their foundation so this person right now just does not feel like they are in maybe a strong enough place to have this commitment um, perhaps they're literally on the move. Maybe they're trying to settle down and find somewhere to live um, or this could just be this person trying to like have more fun, trying to enjoy themselves a little bit more. So the the difficulties they're facing right now, it's affecting how secure they feel within themselves. And in turn, that is affecting how secure they feel within this relationship with you. So this person's just asking for a little bit of time to navigate this. I'm showing them trying to dig really, really deep. So this person's trying to dig deep um, in order to have a really stable and solid foundation. Come on, Luna. So I actually think this person has really um, become very aware of what their blocks are. They're no longer like denying it. This person's not saying, um, I've completed my lessons. I've got nothing left to do. They're actually saying, I am. Sorry about that, guys. The mic wire came out. Um, so yeah, I was just saying, this person's kind of saying, look, I might have to put things on hold a little bit. I might have to, you know, put my foot on the brakes, but it's not permanent. I want you to try and accept what I'm doing because I'm doing it for us. So this person does have some really good intentions and motivations. They're not doing this for selfish reasons. They're not doing this to go off and, you know, um, 
detached from the connection. They're actually doing this with the relationship in mind. That four of wands, that's them wanting this union. That's this person saying, I actually want us to move forwards into a committed relationship, maybe move in together here with the four of wands. Um, it could also be about, you know, maybe getting engaged or getting married. So this person's looking ahead. They want to, to create a really stable foundation for the relationship, but they're saying, I need to do some things first of all. I just need to navigate a little bit of, um, you know, my own life in order to move forwards with you. The strength card. So you may be wondering what is going on here. Is this person serious? Um, are they still asleep to the connection? And the answer is no. This person, whoever we're connecting with today, is so aware of how they feel. Um, with that strength card, they know that this relationship, you know, could last a lifetime. They know the kind of depth of the connection you two have, but they're just saying. I, uh, I, I need to just focus on myself right now, basically. So let's see what lies ahead here. You're being guided not to put too much pressure on this person because they do need some space to navigate this right now. You know, if you try and apply pressure here, then they are going to like pull away. So the future, we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Eight of Cups. I love the Eight of Cups because it's about evolution. It's saying that in the future, you know, this relationship is going to evolve because the person you're connecting to is going to evolve in themselves. So as they evolve, they're going to move this relationship forwards. But with that Eight of Cups, you just have to keep going. You just have to kind of keep focusing on yourself, keep working on your goals because this dolphin is coming out of the, the water to greet her. So it's like, as you move forwards, that is when this person will surprise you if you stay static and put your your life on hold then you know this isn't going to to progress in the way that you want it to so you are being guided to really just focus on yourself um, and there is going to be this new beginning with this ace of pentacles so something stable and secure is going to develop here and um, i've got the knight of cups on the bottom coming in with like romantic surprises uh, but yeah, basically just try to let go of any stresses which you have. Try to let go of those burdens because we have the two of cups here. So this person saying, actually in the future, within the next couple of weeks or so, I'm going to ask for us to have a fresh start in this relationship. I'm going to basically improve our connection so that we can spend more time together, so that we can see what we want to, to manifest here. Um, this person's visualizing that, you know, we had that message before. You know, they're saying, look, I am visualizing what I want to happen in the future. And as soon as I feel I've navigated my own personal blocks, um, I'm going to make sure that that happens. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. I'm going to offer um, the next step in this relationship. And it feels very exciting. It feels like you, you may actually feel quite disappointed before this happens because, you know, they are having a little bit of space and dealing with some stuff right now. But then they surprise you by suggesting the next step here and you're a little bit taken aback by it because you're not you're not necessarily anticipating it. You can't see it coming. You might feel intuitively like, yep, I know that this is gonna move forwards. Um but yeah, because you can't because you can't see it coming, it's still a surprise. So this person's going to basically ask for this. You don't really have to do too much. You just have to make sure that you're not staying stuck. Okay, guys, we're going to go into the extended now to see more about what is happening here and what we can expect. Um, so please join me for the extended on my Patreon site, sacredspace.co.uk. Um, I want to look into kind of what this person's intentions are, see if we can get any time frames coming through and find out a bit more about what is this next step in the relationship that they want to give you. So I hope to see you there. If not, I'll be back here on Sunday with our weekly Twin Flame reading. So 
Um, I didn't manage to record one last week because we just brought little Theo home um, and we were adjusting to that. So it's been two weeks since our last um, Twin Flame specific reading. So I'm really excited to see what comes through there. So I'll see you guys back here on Sunday if I don't see you on the extended. Love and healing begins. So what's next here is for this person to open up emotionally. As they do that, the two of you can work on healing anything in this connection which has... For the extended version, visit www.sacredspace.co.uk. Click on the spirit section at the top of the page and find the video that you want to purchase. You can also filter by category and choose extended. Click purchase to buy this individual video or sign up to the Evolve tier for full access to the Sacred Space site.